With more than 200 deaths reported last year, the opioid crisis in Vermont is reaching record levels. Local 44's Sam Israel spoke with a Vermonter battling addiction for more than two decades now and a recovery expert in the Green Mountain State. Gary DeCarolis represents many recovery centers in Vermont. He is upset to see Vermont set new records in opioid overdoses. When you think of 210 people that we've lost needlessly, um, it's, it's just it's beyond comprehension. We're losing uh, literally thousands of amazing human beings that could contribute to this state and their community and their family. He believes the pandemic did not help things. He says addicts are more likely to take drugs in times of isolation. Isolation is the enemy of recovery. People that are overdosing and dying are doing it uh, in isolation by themselves. David Burrard knows the danger of drugs. He says he's been an addict for around 23 years. It's been a rough road in my recovery. Um, but I stuck with it, you know, stuck with it. So I was able to, to be here and do interviews like this, man. Burrard survived close calls crediting the life-saving tool in Narcan. It saved my life. I, I can't even, I can't even express how many times, man. I, if not for the Narcan, I, I wouldn't be here. The Carolist says loved ones can help. We can make those phone calls. We can take that walk. We can, you know, give that piece of caring to someone else who might be vulnerable to this. Burrard says addicts need to let that help in. I mean, a lot of addicts build walls, you know, and um, they're tough walls, man. They're, they're thick walls. But if you take a couple bricks down and you open that door just a little bit and let that help come in and just try to reach out a little bit, uh, it's a world of difference, man. His message to other addicts? Life throws so many different challenges at you, but you got to stick with it, man. You can't, uh, can't turn it back to it. You can't give up. For many Burlington residents, this is just a beautiful painting. But for David, this painting means a lot more. David, speak to me about the message that you see in this. What I see is an individual reaching up uh, for support and for help. And uh, here this gentleman is offering a lending hand, you know, offering that help and that support. And for Berard, that means working at the Turning Point Center to lend a helping hand to those like himself. Giving back, helping the community, helping people in need of it, especially addicts, um, it fills that void for me, man. It connects my dots. Sam Israel, Local 44 News.